Hello Capricorn. Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your love reading for December 2020. This is general for Capricorn general love, sorry, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind that a love reading could be about your best friend, could be about your child could be about your mother, okay? It does not always have to be a romantic relationship. It is something that affects your feelings, okay? Maybe even a co-worker. Angels, divine spirits, and guides, show me the energy for my Capricorn friends, please, for love, December 2020. Twenty. All right, we got one. Aries, Sun, and the eighth house, which is Scorpio house. So that's about endings. Eighth house represents mystery of spiritual, physical transformation. The characteristic characteristics of this house signify inheritances, legacies, deaths, and rebirths in your life. The eighth house can be mystical and amplifies psychic and metaphysical awareness. It symbolizes resiliency after losses and gains, as well as growth, the expansion in your spiritual life. The path signifies the way you emotionally respond to your experiences, learn from them, and change direction over the course of your lifetime. It always leads you towards your greater destiny. Mystical, transformation, mysterious, spiritual, resilient. All right. This is the house of rebirth and transformation. Aries. Your core representation as Aries is leadership. So you could be dealing with someone who is an Aries son or you could just have a lot of Aries in your chart or you could be like exploring this energy right now, taking on this energy. Uh, leadership, independence, enter enterprise, energetic action, living in the present rather than the past or the future. You're always ready for new and thrilling adventures. So we definitely have a new adventure here. Someone's ending something and beginning something. Your essence is optimistic, enthusiasm, and vigorous power, which provides you with great motivation. Your talent and assertiveness and a talkative nature. You can be a generous friend. You often make quick decisions, jumping right in there. This trait may assist you in achieving your many goals and dreams. You are dynamically driven and keep moving ahead to create prosperity. Courageous, honest, driven, spontaneous, energetic, ambitious, and active. Okay, so let's just put those over there. That is the energy, the direction of this reading. Angels divine spirits and guides we are knocking come on in show me messages for my capricorn friends please in their love life for december 2020 what does capricorn need to know um all right that's too much capricorn please you're not speaking to someone? <laughs> All right. Is that what the direction this is going in? And that's going to change because someone's taking action. Show me Capricorn, please. If this, if I don't get a card, we'll cut them. And we'll take them from the middle because when you're not speaking to someone, sometimes it's really hard to get the cards to come out. All right. One more shuffle. I'm getting that one right there. We'll start with this one. Wheel of Fortune. All right. Talk about change. Destiny. Fate. Karma. Jupiter type of energy. So this is a good change so far. Five of Cups. Okay. I'm going to cut these. I just wanted to see what was on the bottom. There may be sadness in this change. Five of Cups. So that is going to be the overall energy. All right. So the Wheel of Fortune, the four fixed signs, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Like, who am I missing? Um, 
this is this is a really good card for a central issue however it does speak of some type of ending but it's usually for the better okay two of swords in reverse sign of libra so that is a difficult decision a choice a new path that you had to make you probably used your in intuition you probably need excuse me to use your intuition to make this choice because this is your challenge position so i feel like you're struggling with a decision for this change it's almost like someone's coming in and offering you something all of the sudden and you're like standing there like ah oh, um um like i don't know if you have to decide something quickly the four of pentacles that is the sign of capricorn that is holding on to something that no longer serves you so there might be something here that you need to let go of that you need to end it is also a fear of possibly like he's covering his heart with that pentacle you know so he's a little bit worried that he's going to be disappointed or that this isn't a good direction so he's kind of closed off to this change whatever it is king of wands so this is aries leo sagittarius that is the boss the chief the ceo to me someone who aries sun takes action gets things done jumps right in there courageous and honest and energetic so this could be a work relationship for someone you may have a job offer from somewhere that you're hesitant to take because you would have to make some type of a sacrifice but wheel of fortune in the center of your reading the temperance card reversed sign of sagittarius hmm so that is usually my oil and water card you don't have chemistry with someone you don't get along with someone it is also a card of impatience or not compromising usually when i have temperance in reverse there's some type of argument here hmm let's see the emperor Ooh, that, look at all this power in this reading so you may not so you don't get along with your boss or you don't get along with this person there's a power struggle here they're both on both sides of the wheel of fortune both in the upright position you could be both of them somebody's becoming a boss or having a problem with a boss or a boss is offering something and someone's not so sure that they want it let me keep going nine of wands sign of sagittarius energy again so it's probably basically the season i mean you could be dealing with a sagittarius but it's the temperance and the eight and nine and the ten of wands have all been coming up for everyone because we're in sagittarius season but nine of wands is exhaustion tired i can't do this anymore it does also when it's in the upright position it's a determination card like I'm standing here I'm doing it it's just that I don't know how much longer I can sometimes I get that for someone who is a workaholic you may have a husband who's a workaholic queen of cups cancer Pisces Scorpio so this appears to be a very good relationship Emperor and the Queen of Cups loving caring giving compassionate feminine type of energy I could have a couple here that is trying to start their own business because somebody doesn't get along with their boss. Something's changing here, but this is a difficult decision. Six of cups reversed. Somebody's afraid to let go of the past. Someone's fearing a change here. Literally, it keeps coming out. But they're so tired and so exhausted. And, you know, this is also a card of hesitation. I'm standing here. I don't know how much longer I can stand here. What's the final outcome? Knight of Wands reversed. Not taking action or all talk and no action. Hmm. Somebody's not moving forward with something. Five of Cups. Two of Coins. Somebody's working two jobs here. I don't feel like someone is someone juggling two men someone could be juggling two men here and needs to choose 
and they don't want to make a choice. Interesting, because the lovers is underneath that in reverse. Juggling and a breakup. Breaking up with a husband and going towards a lover. Very strong possibility because we got transformation here, remember. An Aries and some transformation. Interesting, Capricorn. What's going on here? All right. All right, Capricorn. So, Five of Cups is your overall energy, sign of Scorpio. I feel like you're sad. I feel like you're annoyed. I feel like you're irritated. I feel like you're tired of juggling two of pentacles. I have two people here that do not get along. One of them has a very hot temper. Um, I feel like you're, I feel like you're the Capricorn. Somebody has to choose sides here. I don't know if you're choosing between your husband and your father or your child and your father, or if this father is not the father of your older child. Somebody is trying to keep the peace here. Now, I'm also getting an older man, does not have to be a father, who may have some ill health or may have an injury because the Knight of Wands in reverse could be an emergency to me. So I don't feel like anybody's, you know, in serious health trouble or anything like that. But I feel like there is a chance that someone may, let's see this ladder over here. Maybe someone's going to fall off of a ladder and get hurt. The Queen of Cups could signify someone who is a caretaker. Because I'm getting someone who's caring for a, an, an injured person here, especially with that Knight of Wands. Now... There could be something like your father has to move into your house so you can help him heal or you can take care of him because he's had some type of injury. Because somebody's rushing here. Somebody was rushing and there, there's some type of an accident. But this king of wands does not get along with this emperor. <laughs> because... Oh, this this is an argument, hot temper, you're trying to keep the peace, you're trying to see who's right, you're trying to keep things calm, you're trying to show compassion. There could be an ex here, I don't, who's trying to make some type of a comeback and there's definitely a power struggle here. I feel like with this four of pentacles at the base of the reading that there may be someone from your past that is trying to hold on to you or coming back into your life or getting a temporary situation. Something is changing. I'm also hearing your father will be your landlord or maybe you have to move in with your father. I don't really see. I'm going to get some more information for you. Let, let me get, um, I, I'm really not sure what this is. You could have, you might be married to someone who, you could be the Capricorn who is working really hard to become an emperor. See, this King of Wands is taking action to change and become this emperor and holding on to their money. Someone's trying, might be trying to start their own business here, but they're just not moving forward with it yet because they don't want to let go of their stability. Someone's very tired of juggling or trying to keep things in balance. The only thing that gets me is this anger up here. Show me Capricorn, please. Give me additional messages for Capricorn. Tuned in, internet connected, telepathic dreams and songs. All right, I'm not going to take them. I am getting the internet down here. Um, internet dreams. Someone may be starting a, their own business on the internet or marketing on the internet. Show me Capricorn, please. 
Let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. I'm getting two people here that don't get along. Threatened, embarrassed, appearances, bargaining, begging. It's like, I don't know if you were child. There's, there is two masculine energies here that do not get along. And somebody is just saying, I don't know how much longer I can put up with all this arguing. We need to make some kind of a change here. We need to, I don't know if this child, if this is an older child that's living with you, they need to find their own place. Or someone is moving in with you because they're injured and because you're taking care of them. And is this somebody's ex? Show me one more for Capricorn, please. Someone is begging for help or bargaining or surviving daily hustle. You're trying to get through this. You're trying to get through this somehow. Bounty hunter, chaser, hot pursuit. See, this Knight of Wands could be a player. Someone that comes in and out of your life over and over the same thing keeps happening this person is holding on to you and they won't let go and then this emperor is getting angry with this other person and then you have to choose between the two and you're like i don't know how much longer i can do this i gotta let go of the past i'm sad i don't know who to pick i'm tired of trying to balance the situation i need to let somebody go one of these masculine energies feels threatened by the other, or someone is threatening the other. It's a very strong possibility. Ba bounty hunter, chaser, hot pursuit. I feel like somebody wants you, or somebody wants you back, or they won't let up, or there could actually be. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but somebody may actually get into some type of a physical altercation here. Because this is an argument that escalates. This could be at work. Someone getting picked on by a masculine energy. Somebody's like... Someone may be thinking about quitting a job due to an employee that is harassing them because the boss isn't doing anything about it or the boss is trying to control this employee. I'm getting a very aggressive energy here. Very aggressive. Because this Nine of Wands is in your roller attitude here. If somebody hits you at work, wow, Capricorn, what is going on here? It's going to force you out of your job. Writing diary, keeping notes. Something wrong with this employee. Somebody's out of control here. You're trying to figure out what to do about it. I feel like someone has gone to authority to try and get something to change, and they haven't done anything about it. They're, they're, what is going on here? Show me Capricorn, please. As soon as I saw that hamster wheel, that's work. There's a very aggressive boss or employee that may hurt someone. This might not be you. This might be going on around you because you're at the base of the reading. So this is all above you. This is going on in your environment. Show me Capricorn, please. You are also the overall energy as well with the two of pentacles. Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. All right. Show me one more. Let me see if I can put this together a little bit more. Work. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent. Someone is very persistent here. Someone's not taking no for an answer. So if you left someone, which is a possibility, because this person was just out of control, you were sad, or you were juggling and you had to pick someone, you got an ex here that is wants to work this out with you. And your ex and your husband or 
the child and the father do not get along. There's something very intense about this reading. Show me one more for Capricorn, please. Maybe you have to... Maybe you're just talking with your friends. Show me... Somebody's like blowing up your phone. Show me one more. I'm getting so much from your reading. Unfortunately, I mean, not that you really want to hear too much about me. Girl with a snake, huh? Empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used enable. There's those boundaries. Interested, conversing more, awaited, messagerized, text, email, hovering. Um... I've been learning astrology, and now that I'm learning astrology, like I'm seeing Jupiter in Libra, which is changes in your relationship. I'm seeing Jupiter in Sagittarius, which is long-term travel and higher learning. And so I get, I'm getting so many more messages than I used to get. So I'm sorry that my readings are confusing, but I'm definitely getting a very aggressive energy here that I feel someone has gone to authorities and asked for change. And I feel like this is someone's work. Maybe they're just saying to you, um, you know, we're working on it, we're working on it, we're trying to take care of this person, we're trying to set boundaries, and you're sad because now you have to move on, and this was a good job for you because of this jerk. And that's what the transformation is about. That somebody's very, very... And somebody's documenting this whole thing. Somebody's writing stuff down or turning stuff into HR. Three of Swords. Healing, which I like. All right. You know what? I'm not going to keep going on and on with this. I feel like you're moving on from something because something is not being done or something is going to reach a boiling point. With that said, I'm going to pull you a oracle message for the ending. I apologize, Capricorn, that your reading was so all over the place. There it is. Look at that. Boundaries, new beginnings. You're, you're stop, stopping something from happening here. You may be getting out of a situation before there's an explosion. Because something's changing here suddenly. There's a lot of sudden energy here. And you're sad that this change is happening. But the Jupiter card is here. The Wheel of Fortune card is here. Everything is happening for a reason. This is your destiny. That's why this card is in the middle of the spread. They're telling you that, yes, this is going to be a difficult time. We're sorry, but we had to drop this bomb. So you'll move on. You need to let go of the past here. All right. I'm going to see what this boundary says. New beginnings. I mean, that pretty much speaks for itself. Boundaries. Let's see if there's any more information because I'm really curious about these boundaries myself. See, boundaries is going to bring on new beginnings. You're being taken for a ride again. People do like taking advantage of you, don't they? Someone's taking advantage of you. It's very clear. The problem is that you like to please people, and so you avoid letting them down and pander to their requests. You have a kind soul and would do anything for anyone. I knew you were the Queen of Cups. You're in the roller attitude of the other person here. It's a beautiful gesture, and you genuinely want everyone to be happy, but at what cost? If your own wants and needs are being ignored, then you're putting others first means that you're not valuing yourself. Wow. When you say yes to others, make sure that you're not saying no to yourself. Eventually, you'll feel worn down, trodden, and resentful. It's time to be assertive and put boundaries into place. That's what the Nine of Wands is. I mean, Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands, same thing. You're exhausted from dealing with the situation. 
You like to relieve people of burdens rather than impose. You're under no obligation. Saying no empowers you. See your demands from another's point of view. Boundaries ensure respect and understanding. So by you allowing all of this to happen, whatever it is, you're, you're disrespecting yourself. You're pushing yourself to the point of exhaustion because you're trying to please everyone. And one of these people here is no good. That's for sure. Someone here has a very, the Knight of Wands in reverse, absolutely. A player, someone who takes advantage of you, someone who's selfish, someone who doesn't give back, someone who's all about me, 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 airy son. I'm not saying all Aries are like that. I'm just saying that Aries is, you know, that's what, that's why this card is coming up in this reading because Aries is all about their self. They don't care about anybody else. They just want to be the center of attention. And please, if you're an Aries, do not take offense to that because once again, Aries, I'm not dissing the sign. I'm just, I'm talking about the house and there's going to be a change here because of this type of energy. Let me see what New Beginning says. Sometimes there's more information here. This card heralds a brand new chapter in your life. You've already noticed the challenges or even the breakdowns in relationships that have always been familiar to you, both at work and other situations. Somebody might be losing their job here because of another employee. I mean, I'm seeing that very strongly. And then maybe they're going to be forced to open their own business, but that's what they're supposed to be doing anyway. This is because you're at a turning point in your life and certain factors need to leave before the good stuff can come in. Jupiter is good stuff. It's been a long, hard slog, but there's a glimmer of hope sparkling in the distance that indicates a, de a destiny you've been wishing for. New ideas, successful projects, and golden opportunities await you. You have a second chance. Throw caution to the wind and trust the great mystery as you walk into your future. That's what's happening here. You're being forced out of a situation that you're very sad that you're being forced out of this situation. But spirit is, there's, there's basically a tower here. The, your wheel of fortune is the tower. Spirit is like, we have to drop this. So they'll end it and they'll move on to the bigger and better things. Because you've been staying in something too long. Start living in the present. New opportunities await you. The situation is being healed. The outcome is far greater than you imagined. You have a chance to reinvent yourself. Well, you're like walking into an entirely new life here, Capricorn, because of something that's going to happen. I'm not really sure what it is. If your father has to move in with you or something and it causes a divorce, well, that's because you'll be happily single, living in the moment and having fun and on to bigger and better things, unfortunately. I don't know what's going on here, but I hope I was able to help someone with this reading today. Thank you so much for watching Capricorn. Good luck with your situation and I will see you soon.